Hey guys, welcome back to Sprocket. Today, I'm going to be showing off all of the tanks that I have built in the new update. Because after this, we might go back to the old version of the game, just so that we can actually do some battles and stuff like that. Because as you guys know, you can't actually fight anything in this new update just yet. But obviously soon, hopefully, that will come back to us. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the tanks that we've built and see what we think of them. So, starting out with this one. This is, of course, our one-man tank, as you guys can see. A bunch of people have been saying, that is just a tractor with a gun. Well, isn't that what a tank is anyway? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but yes, it is a tiny tank with a tiny little turret on it and uh, one man, obviously. So the engine is in the back, the guy is sat in the middle, and the gun is on the front. It's a lot bigger than I expected it to be, but it's still pretty cool. If we go back to the build area, you will see right here, the engine in the back is tiny. Uh, the displacement is 0.25 liters, I believe that's per cylinder, and then we've got 10 cylinders. So it's a tiny but actually quite large engine, if that makes any sense whatsoever. We've then got our gearboxes down here, which is awesome, and of course our sprockets are at the back. If we go forwards, we have 120 rounds on this side, 120 rounds on the other side, and then we've got 8 and 8 up here. In order to control the gun, we've got our laying drive right here on the top as well, which controls the gun at the front. Honestly, I think we've done a pretty good job with this, especially with the fact that everything actually seems to fit. What would I do to change this though? I'd probably build a box around the guy, just so he's got a little bit of armor against, I don't know, <laughs> like a machine gun, I suppose. Um, but yeah, pretty cool tank. Alright, moving on to the next one. This right here is my next vehicle. Obviously, it's not really a tank. It is an armored car instead. It is a two-man armored car, so we've got one guy on the top, one guy down in the bottom at the front, and one of the comments you guys said about this was that guy in the front is going to be deaf. And the main reason for that is because the cannon is literally right above his head. That's still pretty cool, though, isn't it? I kind of like it. Alright, so what else do we actually have on this thing? Well, we obviously have the hole in the front for the guy at the front to drive from. He wouldn't have fit if we didn't have that hole, so it kind of has to be there. We've then got the lights on the front, we've got some random panels on the front as well, and overall, I think it looks pretty nice. We added some fenders to the front wheels. We didn't really do that on the back, because I didn't think it would work properly, so that's why we didn't add them there. We've got a fuel tank on the back right there as well, as well as some lights some exhaust things, some engine vents, and some tools on the top. It's also an open-topped turret as well. All of the ammunition is back there, and the guy is sat right there as well. Let's go ahead and have a little look at the interior to see these guys' seating positions, because it's kind of funny. And there we go. This guy is sat on the ground, literally sat on the floor pretty much. And then this guy up here is squatting quite badly, actually. I would not want to be in that position for very long. Honestly, I should have probably built some sort of seat in there, but I didn't do it in the end, so he is literally just squatting. Pretty incredible. Yeah. Also, we have a pretty large engine back here, displacement of 1.25 litres, and six cylinders. Again, we've got our gearboxes right here, and I believe our sprockets are at the back. At least kind of, anyway. This right here is a fuel tank as well, and we've got another one on the other side. Overall, though, I think this one's actually really cool. Alright, this right here is one of the biggest things that we ended up building in this update because it has one of the largest guns you can actually have in the update as well. A 250mm caliber gun. Pretty awesome if you ask me. We got two rounds on the back as you guys can see. They shouldn't really be there to be honest. And we've got a bunch of guys back here. So one of them really doesn't have any knees left, but that's okay. One of them is standing there and uh, the other guy is in the front. A lot of you guys called this thing a coffin as well, because the guy in the front doesn't actually have a way out unless he crawls backwards and up through here, which is insane. Let's go ahead and fire the gun. Three, two, one, boom! That's crazy. So there appears to be some sort of broken or an issue uh, in this update, where if you have a really large caliber gun around, it will actually explode pretty much as it leaves the barrel. Not sure why that's happening. But anyway, this right here is based on the Spe Swedish Meatball Launcher, which you guys all guessed, and I think it's actually pretty sick. Driver goes right there, gunner is that guy right there, and loader is this one right here. Overall, pretty awesome. Let's have a little look at the inside and see what's going on there. Okay, so the internals of the tank. We've got this guy pretty much sitting on some suspension pieces. His head is... 
uh, in a little box up there, so you can see out of the viewports right here. We got an engine just behind him, which is a one litre displacement with eight cylinders. If we go backwards from there, we've got our turret with six rounds down by his feet. I think it's actually four. Four rounds down by his feet for the loader, who is sat right here. This guy. Next to him, we've obviously got the gunner. He currently has no knees, as you guys can see right there, which is pretty um, <laughs> sick, actually. <laughs> um, and then we've got two spare rounds back here. Obviously, the breach on this gun is massive as well, because it's firing 250mm calibre gun rounds, bullets. I just called them bullets. They're not. I'm going to get shouted out for that. Anyway, uh, behind those guys, there is a fuel tank back here with 329 litres of fuel. Back there as well, we also have the sprockets, which drive the tank. Honestly, I really like the way this uh, actually turned out. It's sort of bigger than I would want it to be, but also, at the same time, I feel like it's too small, which is such a strange concept. There we go. You can see it explodes straight away. Kind of strange. This right here has got to be one of my favorite tanks. It is a three-man light tank uh, that I designed. Honestly, it's pretty cool. Uh, this one works probably better than most of the rest of them that I've built. And it was sort of designed around the M24 slash M22. I don't know. It's sort of a mix of those. And then I made it Japanese for some reason. Don't ask me why I did that. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, this one is one of the only ones with like a nice full-on camo. So we can't really see what's going on with it. And um, it almost tips over here, but it doesn't quite, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's have a little look around it. So, obviously on the turret, we actually have a machine gun up there. We have a light on the turret as well. By the side of the main gun, we've got a coaxial machine gun. And we also have a commander's cupola up here as well. We've got some viewports on the side, so we can see out this way. And uh, a little hatch up there as well. We have some sleeping bags right there. And then we have all the engine stuff back here on the rear. So we've got the vents in the middle and the exhaust on the side. We also have a trench crossing thing as well, because I thought that would make sense. It makes it look quite kind of cool. Anyway, uh, at the front, we've obviously got the driver's view right there. We've got a hatch right there. And we've got some uh, tools on this side and more sleeping bag thingamabobbies on that side. Overall, I actually really like the way this thing is, is looking. Um, I think it's really cool. Let's go ahead and check the inside, because I did make a really big mistake on this one. The driver's view is in the center of this tank, but the driver is off to the side. You'll see that in a second. And there it is. So obviously the driver can't actually see very much, because he's, he's off to the side, whereas the driver's view is right there. It doesn't really make much sense. Don't know why I didn't think of that, but there you go. Right here, we've actually got a fuel tank in the front as well, next to the driver. Again, if we get shot in the front, Presumably everybody's dead anyway, but yes, fuel tank will probably explode. Back from there, we've obviously got the turret basket with two guys in it. They do actually manage to stand side by side. This guy is the loader, and this guy is the gunner. We've then got 54 rounds behind them, and then down at the sides, we've got 14 and 14 right there as well. We've then got a pretty large engine in this thing, 1.5 liters displacement, 12 cylinders, so it is actually a, quite a large engine, and I think it actually looks pretty sick, to be honest. Doesn't look too bad at all. I like it. Oh, and I should mention, actually, the gun is a 57mm gun. So it's actually bigger than it looks. At least I think so, anyway. Look at that. Sick. We're getting very close to the end now. This right here is an APC that we ended up building. Honestly, this was designed around some sort of AI design, and I actually really, really like it. We've got two guys running the gun back there, we've got a driver in the front, and we've got eight guys in the back being transported. None of them have a job, because, um, yeah, they're all just here to be transported. If we have a little look around, we've got stowages down the sides, as you guys can see. We've got loads of rounds for the gun. We've got loads down here, loads on this side as well, and a few in the actual turret. This turret does turn from side to side as well, which is pretty sick, because it doesn't look like it does, but it does turn a little bit. Both of those guys at the back can both peek over the top as well if they need to, and the driver can actually see out of this hatch right here on the front. You might be wondering, where is the engine? Well, it's actually on the inside right there, next to the driver. I would imagine that's very loud and kind of annoying, <laughs> but there you go. We've also got lights on the front, some tow hitches and stuff like that on the front as well. Stowage is all down the sides, armor plates on the sides as well, some ladders, we've got a door on the back. If you go to the inside, we've got the opposite door on the inside, and some stowages in there as well. Overall, I actually really like this one. 
Alright, so I wanted to go to the internal view, however, with the internal view, you can't really see anything from the sides, just because of the way that I've built this. So if we go to the front, you can see the engine is right there, and we've got this guy right here in the front as well. Uh, the displacement is 1.5 litres, and we've got six cylinders. If I wanted to, I could actually make that a lot bigger, because we do have the room there. If you look underneath everybody, you can actually see the prop shaft, which brings it to the back, where the... Uh, gearboxes are back there, and then, again, the sprockets are in the rear of this one. Overall, I actually really like this design. It maybe looks a little bit too big, kind of like the LTV looks, but, um, yeah, I don't mind it. I think it's kind of cool. And yes, I realize I am saying I think everything looks kind of cool. I know. I know that I'm doing that. But yes, this one right here is our last tank. This is a coffin designed... Uh, to be a coffin, essentially. If it gets shot, the driver will die, and he is the only person in the tank. And yes, it's in the shape of a coffin if you look from above. Pretty sick, yeah. Uh, so, this thing has a relatively decent gun on it, as you guys can see on the front. I can actually shoot that thing, and I can actually aim it around as well. It's just I can't drive at the same time. Because the driver doesn't work when you're trying to do every other thing. If we have a little look around on this thing, obviously we've got the hatch on the front so the driver can get in and out. We've got the viewport on the front as well. That's where the driver actually drives from. We've got a little light right there. We've then got the turret, and then we have our engine stuff back here on the rear, as well as the stowage and some tools. Overall, it's very basic, extremely basic, but kind of cool. Let's go ahead and have a little look at the interior, and you'll see how cramped this thing actually is. So there he is. That's our driver laying down, the engine behind him, a 0.7 litre displacement with 12 cylinders, and then we've got our rounds up here, as well as our gun. Overall, actually really, really cool. I like it a lot. And I realise I'm saying that so much. I'm saying, I really like this, it's kinda cool. I know, but I've said that for every vehicle. I just really like the designs. Anyway, this right here is a fuel tank as well. We needed one of those, and it's just like squished in there. Because I figured we needed one, and that's kinda the only place I could actually put one. So there you go. But yes, that is all of the tanks that we've designed so far in this update. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of them. Do you like them? Which one is your favourite? And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.